before you actually print your reports, I want to emphasize the print preview because what you see in there is what you get. For example, if I double click on my report fixed margins, of course we're going to fix the margins of this report. But right now when I look at it in report view, it shows everything, right? But let's say I just go ahead and I print this off without viewing this in print preview first. Watch what's going to happen. I'm not going to print it off, but I'm going to show you if you ignored this view, print preview, it cuts the report in half. Why? Well, the margins are off. So when I click on it to zoom out, you can see that, let's see, how many pages? Let me click and go to the next page. It's cut off the next page. If you get some pages that are blank and empty with some text bleeding over into it, maybe not even text, but just these lines here, probably means you're exceeding the width of the page. In this case, I didn't exceed the width of the page. For this exercise, I actually increased the right side of the margin to five inches, which is going to cut it off, obviously. Let me go to the last couple of pages here. Another blank page, and it just keeps going on and on. So I either need to change the page orientation from portrait to landscape or adjust the margins. To do so, I'm in you know print preview here. Make sure you come to print preview. Again, when I close out of it, that's simple. Just right click and go down to print preview. Then up here on the print preview tab in the page layout group, I mean you have your margins. You can click on the drop down arrow. You can see my custom where the last setting I applied to was my margin over to the right hand side was five inches. I mean that's crazy. I can go ahead and apply normal or something narrow. If I want to get more particular without these defaults here, just click off in a blank area and click on its expandable dialog box button. When you click on it and it expands, you have the print options. You can see that the right margin is five. You can see how it just crams it over there into that small column. Well, maybe I want it at 0.25, hit the tab key, go to the page, maybe I want it in landscape and not portrait, instead of more vertical, maybe I want it more horizontal, but I think portrait will do just fine. We'll talk about columns later, but for right now, it's just going to be one column, and it's going to have the margins out at a quarter of an inch on all sides, and when I click OK, it looks like it's normal. How do I find out? Well, I'm in print preview. So I can click on to zoom in, click on to zoom out, and then just go page by page. In fact, if I want to see more of it than just one page at a time, I can come up here to my zoom group and say two pages. Of course, I'm on page three, so it's not going to show page four because I only have a total of three pages in my report. So let me go backwards, and there's the first two pages there. If I want to see all pages, then I want to click on the drop down arrow and do up to four, eight, or twelve. Let's do eight. I mean, that's kind of small. We can actually go to four, zoom in a little bit. There's the three pages. Doesn't look like I have any data that's being cut off or an extra page. It looks like it's blank. Again, if it looks like it's blank, again, it's margin issues. So it means you probably have too many fields that are bleeding over and being cut off into the margin. Either shrink your margins down, your right and left margins, or go into landscape view. Or if that doesn't work and you still have too much, you may want to consider cutting back on your controls and your text boxes, your labels here. It looks good, so I'm ready to print. Just go ahead and click on the print button. You're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.